Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First video of 2021. Really excited. Today I just wanted to share with you guys my current everyday makeup situation. I feel like you just evolve. You know what I'm saying? You just evolve and try new things and always finding like new products out there and there's so many like makeup product launches all the time so i feel like i should be doing more of like a regular updated like makeup routine because even though it might be the same look it might be different products different techniques before we get ready though make sure to follow me down below subscribe hit the little bell button so you're notified when i make new uploads and make sure to follow me on instagram to keep up without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video i got my cafecito cheers to you that's cold done drinking that Let's start with some skincare, obviously, and I've been so excited to try the Cloud Dew from Summer Fridays. You guys know I love this brand so much. It's just like a moisturizer. Nothing feels better than like a really, really cold moisturizer on the skin. I kind of like that it has no fragrance to it, even though like I live for like fragrance like skincare. But this feels absolutely amazing. And now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of lip care. Taking my Summer Fridays butter lip balm. This lip balm is literally it. For primer, I'm taking this new one from Urban Decay. It is their Ultra Glow, Ultra Glow Dewy Foundation Grip. I feel like it gives you more of a glow while adhesing. Is that how you say it? Don't know, don't care. But putting the makeup together as well as giving you a nice glow. I haven't really been putting much on my face as a primer wise. I just need like a good moisturizer, good primer, good to go. Going back in with my L'Oreal Infallible. You guys know I love this foundation so much. And it's also very affordable and it gives me a nice light look when I want the full coverage look, but not feel like it. It's honestly such a good foundation. And then I really have been liking to blend it in with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Something about a good foundation brush gets the job done, right? You guys see how it gives me like just a nice glow in the foundation. It's just so freaking good. I love it. I love it a lot. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty concealer in the shade 300. This concealer, guys, is so good. It's so creamy. I kind of miss doing like bright under eyes, but I just love this color. And then really make sure I get it here in the inner corner. I used to leave this area so dark before and it just like drove me insane. I'm gonna let that concealer stiff for a little bit so it really just like adheres to the skin. And then going in with my cream contour from Fenty as well. I finally hit pan on this. This stuff is so good. It is the best cream contour shade that I found for my complexion. I also like to go in and apply it with a brush. This and the color Honey Glaze. Nothing like blending my concealer with like a new sponge. Now taking my Kylie setting powder. I have been using this nonstop. It's actually one of my favorite ones. Like that's affordable aside from like Laura Mercier, which is always queen. But this one does the job and I like how like thin it is. It's not super intense. You want to apply that over the eyebrows as well to set them before we go in and fill them in. Now taking the Sephora 79 brush. Just buffing everything out. I don't want any like harsh looks powder looks on my face like so now moving on to the eyebrows i've been going in with my anastasia powder but also discovered this pen from mark jacobs it's really really good it is a little darker than i would like prefer it but i like the consistency of the eye pencil and it's giving me a little bit more like definition so you guys can see how like i just gave myself like an outline now i'm going to just fill her in and then i'm going to be taking my brow brush from Sephora and I'm blending everything out. Literally, I have not found a better match. Taking my NARS concealer and custard, just going to clean it up a little bit. Taking some brow gel from Miss Kylie. Really having like in this one, it's nice and clear. Like it doesn't have any extra like tinted like color in it, so it doesn't darken them up. But I really have been liking brushing them upward. Now going in with bronzer, guys. I haven't really been finding like good bronzers. Like I need a brand to come up with a good bronzer this year. Like please. Thank you. Look at my hula because it never fails me on my JH05. Just like hula, just mm, knows it. Hula knows it. Jawline, I'm telling you guys, if you have not like bronzed your jawline, you are insane. Like, please do it. It's gonna make the biggest difference. Also, a little bit on the lip. And then what you wanna do is take a little bit of like loose powder and just let that sit. Period. Simple. Moving on to the eyes, guys. I just pulled out the soft glam palette because it's literally like all that I need. It's just like a couple of good like matte bronzy shades. So I'm taking the color Burnt Orange right here. This is on an Anastasia 
a 12 brush and i'm gonna start like in the middle of the eyelid that way whenever like i buff it out it doesn't go too far out the crease so i really focus it in the middle and then slowly i'll start to buff it to the inner corner and the outer corner but not going lower than my lash line i was also gonna make sure that it keeps the eye lifted instead of like bringing the eyeshadow down all the way here i'm just gonna take a regular shading brush this is the elf eyeshadow c brush taking that same shade and i'm just gonna pat it literally all over the eye yeah making sure it's like not Blotchy. and then what i'll be doing is taking the shade cypress umber it's literally such an iconic like brown shade taking it on a jh 43 it's like a flat definer brush and i'm just going to like outline half of my eye at an angle to give me more of that lifted so you guys will see what i'm talking about you guys see how i just created like a line going up and then basically you want to keep stamping the color and you want to rub it because it's gonna get really messy but you guys see like the look that it gives the eye come on like it come on like <laughs> It lifts it and then when you apply like your lashes, it's going to look so freaking good And then you just want to just buff it out guys And then if you want to clean it up in the corners, you can certainly do that I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that NARS concealer It's she's a little bit thicker than like usual concealer, but that's why only a little bit will go such a long way You know something like that for mascara taking Lancome lash idol Mascara, it's so good. I really have been loving it. I'm gonna be taking this makeup fixer from Ofra. This formula is actually really, really good. Wow, and this smell is everything. Did you change the smell on this? I, maybe I haven't used it in a long time, but oh my god, this smells magnifique. Okay, now we are going to apply like our blush. As you guys know, I love cream blush. I really have been liking this new one from e.l.f. I don't know the color, which is very unfortunate. It's not on the packaging, but as always, I'll do my best to find it. I'm taking this brush from Fenty Beauty, the 125 Fade. I like it because it's such a nice, like, natural color. And I like to push my blush back into, like, the temples. And then a little bit on the nose as well. I've been doing this since, like, summer, and I just haven't stopped. And it's fine. Now things can get a little, little messy, so I'm just going back in with a Sephora 79 brush and my loose powder and I'm just going to let that powder sit there until we finish and see rest of the face I'm gonna go in with this highlighter from Smashbox it is a halo highlighter really really nice and bright and I really have been liking a bright highlighter again I go through my faces but a little bit goes a long way taking my Sigma F42 strobing fan like that's just me barely like going in the highlighter i like it because it gives me more of a, like a skin look it almost can pass as like a liquid highlighter because it's just so nice and seamless but it's still super super bright and it blends so seamless into the skin so i really like it for that reason and then of course you can always build it up and then i always like to highlight like the inside of my nose like this but inside it gives it a nice little touch i'm gonna be taking my lily lashes and mykonos and i have been putting these like way back in my eyelid cutting them to make it look like more like a foxy eye look than like a whole like rounded lash situation so here are the lashes i just feel like they absolutely complete any single look now i'm gonna go ahead and buff out the powder underneath my cheeks it just helps clean everything up super nice so now for lips so many lip combos that i've been doing that's like what i've been thriving on because you guys know i love my nudes and stuff but i'm gonna share with you guys my recent one okay these lip liners from dominique cosmetics are absolutely amazing this color in brown sugar i think it's sold out but i'm gonna link it anyways just in case it's not even though it's like a darker color it has like a shade of like red or like more like a reddish brown that I never do and I think that's why I like it because it really I feel like brings out my features more and like the color of my skin with this like lip liner it just looks super super good and then going like that kind of marks where my natural lip line is so I will follow my natural lip line and then add a little bit just like at the bottom as you guys know I love my Kylie lipstick which is this one right here that I'm literally out of I do have a new one but it's probably like one of my purses or something but also the KKW um W so Spanish it's not even funny KKW lipsticks are also bomb here are two shades that I absolutely love. We have Nude 4 and then we have Nude 2.5. So Nude 4, we kind of match right now, but we want to have like a more like lighter effect in the center. Give it the appearance of bigger lips. So I'm taking 2.5. And I like to kind of just tap it together. I don't want to mess up the line that we did for the um, liner, which is already gets like it kind of runs sometimes. So I'm just going to fix it real quick. Pretty much this NARS is like my eraser and it's just so freaking good i love it if you guys haven't tried cleaning out like your lip liner outline like after you're done with your lips oh my god your lips will look so nice now i'm gonna be taking fenty beauty fenty glow gloss cream 
just to add more shine and here you have it guys this is my everyday correct makeup i'm gonna go ahead and put my jewelry on fix the hair and i'll be right back to show you guys the final look with the hair accessorized ready to go i will have other products that i linked and mentioned down below with their links and discount codes for you guys to shop and get them for yourself that is all for today as always muchos besitos y abrazos and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys